tomato plants can have many problems during the growing season. One of those is blight, early blight that is. And it's a problem that comes in everybody's soil, container, potting mix, ground, unless it's a sterile mix, you're gonna have the problem of early blight. Early blight is a bacteria in the soil that when it rains or you water, it splashes up on the leaves and then it progressively work itse works itself up the plant and by the end of the season you've got stalks, fruit, and no leaves because it has killed all the leaf structure off. So there's a couple of things in which we want to do. First of all, this is the telltale signs of blight and here's what happens to it once it gets to that point. So blight creates the spottiness on the leaf and then it becomes dry and brittle and begins to die off. It changes to a yellow and then it will continue to change until the leaf is completely brown just like fall leaves. So what we want to do here is we want to trim number one six to eight inches based on the size of your plant from the ground level up the plant. Uh, you can also apply whole grain cornmeal at this time if you want to reapply that if you didn't at the time of planting that has a beneficial bacteria in it called trichoderma that fights the early blight. So that's step number one. Step number two is mulch to prevent soil splash up and step number three is to trim the bottom six to eight inches of this plant. Now if you've already got a plant that is infected, uh, what you want to do is you can see I've got an infected leaf there. We want to trim it right off at the stalk. Get it there. I can remove up to 25 percent of the infected plant uh, on, the, on this plant here. If I, got, I can take up to 25 percent off the leaves. You can see even uh, that's nine inches there. There's splash up occurred on that leaf. There's some there. And if you got a long leaf here, you can just cut it in half to get rid of the infected portion of it. I think that's pretty good on that plant. Oh, I still have more here. So I'm going to really trim a lot off of this plant just to get it back to a healthy state. Now I'll go through here every two to three weeks and trim the bottom of these, these plants off. So like this here, Get rid of that. I got an infected plant. I got an infected leaf there. This here leaf is working itself and getting close. So I'm just going to take and cut that completely off. This leaf here, I'm just going to take part of it off. Looks dramatic, but you can see new suckers are forming here and there's going to be more growth there. But again, I'm keeping this clean and we can apply more mulch. We had tremendous amount of leaves here. Uh, but over the last four months they have broke down. Now this plant over here, it's a brandy wine as well, and it has a lot of blight on it. A lot of infected plant, uh, a lot of infected leaves here. Get rid of that. Uh, get rid of that. And anything in the canopy here that's starting to head down, I'm just going to take it off. There's a lot more, and you can see here, blight from very early on that that leaf is just completely dried up and dead. So I want to get all of those off and clean that up. So that is blight, and again, if left untouched, it will progressively work up the plant and kill the plant to the point where there's just fruit development or there's fruit hanging on it, stalk, and no leaves. And by doing the whole grain corn bell, by doing the mulch, by doing the trimming and consistent watering, we've reduced the amount of blight by 80% and we've had green plants all the way up to the day of frost. So keep your plants healthy by being vigilant and seeing what may be occurring to them and how you can combat that. And sometimes be proactive instead of reactive. For more information, please visit the